there, welcome back to the Holiday Club for St Peter and St Paul's Grey's Team Ministry. This week we're going to decorate a jar. I've got a jar here and I've just found bits and pieces to use. So I'm going to use a bit of ribbon and I found some little flowers and bows that I had that I used for I think an Easter bonnet a long time ago but I found some left over so I'm going to use those but you can decorate the jar with anything that you've got you could use um, superhero stickers you could use unicorn stickers or you can even get some sharpies and draw onto the jar now you can make lots of different prayer jars you can make thank you prayer jars you can make a sorry prayer jar but today we're going to do an asking prayer jar so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I've got a little bit of glue and I'm going to put the end of my ribbon onto the glue and then twist it round if you use too much it goes everywhere and it'll get all over your fingers but that doesn't matter you can clean that up afterwards so wrap it round the jar use a little bit of glue I like using this glue because it rubs off your fingers stick it on the end there so I've got I've got a little bit of ribbon round my jar see because if you make them differently you'll know what the jar, jar is for so if it's a sorry jar you know you're going to say sorry to some for something if it's a asking jar like this one you're going to ask God to do something so let's put a little bit of glue onto the bow and put the bow on there put some glue onto a flower I'm sure yours will be much nicer than my one but it doesn't matter because while you're doing this you can be thinking about how lucky you are to know about God and Jesus and the stories of Jesus and this will help you as you grow put another one there there you go get the idea still got room for another one around here oh I could put one on top couldn't I that would be pretty so this is my asking jar so what can we ask for well what I've done is I've cut out some heart shapes and on there I've thought of some things that I could ask God to help us with for example to help with anyone who's ill or for some place in the world that needs help perhaps your cat or your dog isn't well and you want God to help and some perhaps you're missing somebody like nanny or granddad and there are other things you can add so I've drawn those written those you can draw pictures as well onto those little heart shapes so we'll take the lid off and we'll pop those hearts in there now if you get a little collection of jars you can go along your jars and you can do a sorry prayer and a thank you prayer and an asking prayer and you can use your different jars to find out what you're going to say sorry for or say thank you for or to ask God to help you with so let's see what I'm going to ask God to help me with just take one out ah it says missing so I'm going to pray like this I'm going to say thank you God that I am safe and well and God please God could you help me because I am missing my friends and my family I haven't seen them because of this pandemic where we're all supposed to stay indoors and not getting out seeing people so I'm missing all my friends so please God help it to be safe enough for us to go out and then meet up with our friends 
Thank you. Amen. And then you can do more if you want. Or you can choose the next jar and do a sorry jar or a thank you prayer. Sorry prayer or a thank you prayer. So there you go. When you've done this, don't forget, take a picture, put it on our Facebook page, St Peter and St Paul's or Noah's Ark Toddler Group. Post it on there because we'd love to share them with everybody. And come back soon for yet another week at Holiday Club Online. Take care now. Bye from the Reverend Cathy.